Today we will be learning how to properly use an electronic scale. Along with watching this video, you should also read the Mass Measurement Technique Guide. Let's begin with going over some general information and a few basic do's and don'ts. Electronic scales are very delicate instruments which depend on finely made internal mechanisms to determine the weight of an item. Many of these parts are very sensitive to dust, chemicals, and vibration. To keep a scale in proper operating condition, they must be kept level and clean at all times. So please make sure you do not bump or move a scale. If you notice the balance is not level or clean, notify your TA. Regarding cleaning, always use as little pressure as you can when brushing off spills from the balance pan and into the catch ring. A small amount of solid in the catch ring is fine. If you have a major spill, or there is a large amount of solid in the catch ring. Please tell your TA so it can be properly removed without getting chemicals inside the balance. For liquid spills, use a Kim wipe to absorb the spill and then gently dab if necessary. When using a balance, you should never place the item to be weighed directly onto a balance pan. A weigh boat or receiving vessel, such as a vial or beaker, should always be used. Be aware when choosing a receiving vessel not to exceed the limit for the scale. When operating a scale, you should only press the tear or if needed, the power button. All the other buttons are for prep room personnel use only. The effect of air currents when the draft shield is not in place is obvious. When the draft shield is in place, the balance will stabilize. After pressing the tear button, the scale should show all zeros with only minor fluctuations. If the scale won't stabilize, please let your TA know. Let's learn some basic weighing techniques. Say we have an object such as a gumball and we need to determine the weight. First, make sure the draft shield is in place and the balance is level. Then choose a receiving vessel large enough to hold the gumball. A beaker will work. Place the beaker in the center of the pan. Do not place it towards the edges or your weight will be inaccurate. Press tear, make sure the display is all zeros. Remove the beaker, put the gumball in, and gently place it back on the balance. Dropping things on a balance can cause damage to the internal mechanism. Always remember to record your weight. Similarly, if you have a loose solid or a liquid and you want to know the total weight, you can use the following technique. Choose a receiving vessel. This time, we'll choose a plastic vial. Place it in the center of the pan. Press tear. Remove the vial. Add the liquid. Performing the transfer away from the scale eliminates spills. This method can be used for a specific amount of liquid or an unknown amount of liquid. Then place the vial back on the center of the pan. Again, read and record your weight. Commonly, you will want to weigh out a specific amount of a solid or liquid. Doing so without spilling can be difficult. Here you see someone carrying the solid 12 inches to the balance. To help reduce the possibility of a spill, you always want to minimize the distance you need to travel. Holding the jar directly over the weigh boat shortens the travel to one or two inches. Here we are weighing out 0.2 grams of a solid. Holding the jar at an angle, take the stock jar and your spatula to the balance and hold them over the receiving vessel. Rotate your spatula so it is perpendicular to the solid. Insert it into the solid and rotate it 90 degrees. Carefully withdraw the spatula and allow the solid to naturally fall off into the stock jar. Then carry the spatula close to the weigh boat and rotate it to dump the solid. When you get close to the weight you are aiming for, set the jar down and very gently tap the spatula until the weight is at the amount you want. Excess chemical from the spatula or from your weigh boat if you happen to get too much in there should be put into a beaker or another weigh boat and disposed of in the solid waste can in the waste hood. Returning chemical to the stock jar 
could cause contamination. For liquids, choose a receiving vessel you are sure will hold the amount you want to weigh out. Here we've chosen a plastic vial. Tear the balance, remove the vessel, and pour some of the liquid in. Put the vial back on the balance. Then, using a plastic transfer pipette, draw some liquid into the pipette, then lift the pipette out of the liquid and allow some air to be drawn in. This will help you keep drips from forming on the tip and falling onto the balance. Carefully take the pipette and place the tip inside the vessel. Then you can add one drop at a time until you reach the desired weight. Although there are many different ways to use an electronic scale, the basics are the same. Start with a clean and level scale. Choose an appropriate receiving vessel and tear. Minimize the distance from the source to the container. Work carefully to avoid spills, but if they do happen, clean them immediately. For more detailed information, read the Mass Measurement Technique Guide. Thanks for watching.